triple header. Gorton was resting in a siding. It was a hot day and the express had been heavy. I get so out of breath, he complained, but nobody cares. They just say, I'll be alright after a rest. Get the fucking troll to give you a tank to the bunker, suggested Thomas cheekily. You'll feel a new engine. We tank engines never get out of breath, you know. Perhaps it was lucky for Thomas that Paul Gordon hadn't had the energy to make any reply. The men worked hard on Gordon, but they couldn't make him better. You need new tubes, Gordon, they said. You have to go to the works to have them fitted. While Gordon was being mended, Henry pulled the express. But one morning, just before Gordon was due back, Henry was ill too. With no spare engine except Thomas, the inspector told the fat controller. But he can't pull the train on his own. Could Percy help? asked the fat controller. The inspector shook his head. The two of them with Doc might manage, he suggested. It's only as far as the works. They're sure to have a spare engine there. So, just me three small tank engines were coupled together. Thomas nearest the train, Doc in the middle, and Percy at the front. Then, slowly, they started. Come on, come on, puffed Percy, importantly. We're doing it, we're doing it, puffed Doc. Pull harder, pull harder grumbled Thomas to the others. The heavy drain drew out of the platform. The engines couldn't go fast as Gordon, but the passengers didn't mind. They knew that Percy, Thomas and Doug were doing their best. Expresses are not like branch line trains. They don't stop at all the stations, and the engines didn't have the chance to get their breath back. Soon, the three began to feel tired. They struggled violently up Gordon's Hill, but the strains began to show. I'm glad we didn't stick there, thought Thomas. Gordon would never let us hear the last of it. But the hill proved too much for Percy. His driver blew his whistle and stopped the train. We can't take you off, Percy, said Thomas's driver. Do the best you can to keep your brakes off. It's not far now. This made things harder for the other two, but they struggled on gainly. Twin columns of steam shooting high into the air. We're nearly there! We're nearly there! Puffed Thomas and Doc together as they summoned a last brave effort. Poor Percy had no steam left to say anything. They were just passing the works when Doc found he could go no further. Thomas could not pull the heavy train on his own, and the cavalcade came to a standstill, a few yards short of the station platform, and there, watching from the work sidings, stood Gordon. The fat controller, who had been on the train, told the three engines he was proud of them. You did very well to get so far, he said, and now you deserve a rest. Doc, Percy and Thomas were uncobbled and a new engine took their place. As the tank engines moved wearily away, Gordon looked at Thomas and smiled. Then he took three deep breaths and winked. He didn't need to say anything. Thomas knew exactly what he meant.